Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to my final Premier League team guide and today. Because they're bottom of the league. We're looking at Crystal Palace. Can you do better than Roy Hodge? Of course you can. That's not even a bloody question. Roy Hodgson's for shit. Right, OK. <laughs> so, this is going to be an interesting one. Because I'm, I'm unsure how in-game they expect us to achieve. Are they just going to say, you know, don't get relegated? Or are they going to go mid-table, please? We'll find out. So, finances-wise. Ooh, it's not a good start. We've got 22 grand in wages and only 8 million. I think that might be the lowest in the Premier League. So, that's... I'm not filled with confidence so far. What do they ex don't don't expect top half or something stupid? Oh, mid table. Okay. Already that's sounding like a challenge. Fifth round of the FA Cup, fourth round of the League Cup. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the team report. Lots of weaknesses. I'm not going to read them out because it'll take me ten minutes. Pause it and read it if you want to look. But we're going to look at the team anyway. So, um, quick look at the staff. God, this team is awful. The coaching staff needs rebuilding. Ask the board for another coaching members if you can. Scouting needs fixing. Medical's okay. Just hire a couple more, I think, and you'll be fine. Like, get a chief doctor in, sports scientists. You know, you should be fine on that front. But lots of work to do. Quick look at the dynamics. Um, we have one big group. Two nice groups there. I quite like that. I prefer it when they're split a little bit, just so you don't piss off everybody when you sell a player. Um... But I'm a little bit worried. Let's have a look at the team now. Um, we're going to have to sell to buy pretty much. So let's look at overall positions and strengthening and stuff. Goalkeeper. Hennessy. I think it's one of those ones like... It's not desperate that it needs fixing. But you need to replace the goalkeeper maybe like next season, if not this season. Depending on what else we need to fix. We've got Damien Delaney, um, who's loan listed at 35. Um, <laughs> okay, what's his pace? Okay, not bad for a 35-year-old. Well, I don't know what we're doing with him yet. We'll have a look at the rest. Scott Dan's decent. James Tomkins, decent. Martin Kelly's decent. He can play fullback, but he's a defensive fullback. Um, if you really, if you want to play attacking wingbacks, then you're better off just having this guy as like a third-choice centre back and playing someone else or just having him as backup. But he's decent. Then we've got Sacco, who's one of the best players at the team. Starts the game out for seven weeks, unfortunately, but he's a very, very good centre back. Um Forcey Mensa, where's his best position? He just loves it everywhere. <clears throat> a little bit lacking in marking and heading for a sort of pure centre back option. Probably more of a ball winning midfielder for me, I think. Uh, but nice nice and versatile, filling at right back. Again, not the most attacking if you're going to play him at right back. <clears throat> so centre back options. Oh, and they've got uh, this guy, Reed, Reed Vald. I'm going to pronounce it. We'll go with it. Um, only 20 years old. This guy could become a very good player. Definitely give him game time, filling in the left. So centre back, not too bad. We've got... I, I would just dump Delaney. Sorry, Delaney. Sorry if you're watching, Damien. Um... No, I I wouldn't loan him out. If you can't sell him, loan him out and get him to pay their, his wages. But I I just look to get rid of him. Twenty five grand off the books. That's another player, to be honest. So right back options. We've got Joel Ward who can play both sides, but he is right footed naturally. Good going forward. Very good player. Quite happy with him in the team. Forcey Mensa we talked about. Martin Kelly we talked about. Both can play back up right backs. So right backs covered. Left back we've got Patrick Van Arnholt who is. I think the scout's underrating him a little bit here. I think he's all right. Some of his mentors are lacking somewhat. Um, determination 6. Yeah, needs a little bit of work, but he's not the worst. I'd, I'm, I'm not going to be looking to replace him straight away because uh, he looks all right. And then we've got Jeffrey Schlupp. As, um, great name. You've got to keep him just for the name because, you know, Schlupp is great. Can play left mid or left back option. Um, we've got a couple of... We've got Pap... Papasuari. What's he? Okay, no, that is wanted. So, fullback options. We've got a wealth of talent. Never thought I'd say that. That's not too bad at all. Yeah, I'm quite. I'm just sort of thinking that's actually not too bad. There's no obvious stuff that's. At the moment, for me, it's goalkeeper at the moment that's looking the way. So, let's look at central midfield. We've got Johan Kabai, very good playmaker. James MacArthur. I uh, thought he was really good on the X Factor. Um, decent player. Then we've got Milojevic, who is a 28, 6-year-old Serbian. 
good all-rounder, ball-winning midfielder type, Lee Chong Gong, uh, who is all right. Don't want him to be first choice. Then we've got Loftus-Cheek on loan. We've got Jason Punchin. We've got Andros Townsend. We've got Bakary Sacco, who's actually transfer listed. Might keep him. Then we've got Wilfred Zaha, one of the key men, who's out for four months. Connor Wickham is out for six months. And then we've got Teke up front. So let's see what the... Uh, we we'll quick look at the under-23, see if there's anybody we can bring through. There might be some gems here, so make sure you check them all, but nothing's standing out from my scout. Oh, okay. Nothing at all. First time I think we've done that. The, what's Mr. Assistant, man? What does he want us to play? Okay. I think one up top is definitely going to happen because, you well, you only have one striker, so <laughs> it's hard to play. It, Connor Wickham's decent backup when he comes back. Um, I'm going to be playing Ben Teke up front. Uh, I, I like I prefer this sort of formation for this um, due to... I might even be tempted to play more like that. This will be... So I, this might change very on who we're playing, to be honest, because um, maybe a bit more security and then play counter-attacking. Because we've got the likes. If we use Zaha's pace on the wing, that could really sort of help us counter-attack I think and we've got a couple of pacey players Pat Townsend's Townsend's all right okay 16 acceleration 16 place Jason Punchin it's getting on a bit now his pace is dropping a little bit but that's what I'd probably go for that sort of pace on the wings uh Connor Wickham's not pacey is he at all yeah and he's much more of a striker anyway um but I'd probably play like an inside forward and a winger so the wingers, you know, we want to be supplying Ben Teke, but we also want to support him up top so he's not too lonely, especially if we're not playing somebody in this hole in the number 10 role. And then I'll probably play a more advanced playmaker here, a ball-winning midfielder, try and let me fullbacks push on a decent amount, especially the fullback that's on the side of the inside forward. So the inside forward cuts in, fullback sort of overlaps and gets the balls across. He acts as the natural winger and stuff like uh, the natural width for the team. But thankfully... Eight million pounds to spend. I'm going to buy. <clears throat> I've got uh, two things in my head: either a goalkeeper or another winger. Because we've got Zaha and Townsend and Punchin, who are main three. We could keep Sacco. I don't think. I probably keep Sacco. He's not valued a massive amount, unless you needed the money for a particular. I probably keep Sacco and buy a goalkeeper, to be honest. Because um, Wayne Hennessy's thirty now. I don't think he's that great. He's not too bad. I like his distribution. Command of the area is only eleven, which is ugh. decision making is pretty poor as well. Yeah, I'm looking. This was very much on your philosophy of football, whether you want to fix the defence by getting a good goalkeeper or fix get more goals by getting somebody else in attack. What I might be tempted to do is buy the goalkeeper and then loan in from a, from an AC Milan or you know a, a big European team, loan in some more um, attacking wingers and inside forward type players. I think that's probably what I'd most likely do. But there we go. There is our guide for Crystal Palace. I think that me is officially done all 20 premiership teams i will be doing the championship teams as well but that'll be over the next few weeks just the odd video here and there when i get time to do it i hope you enjoyed this series guys please leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy it also if you're managing crystal palace let me know in the comments i think what i've totally forgotten what the board expected us to achieve this season because i had a brain fart yeah mid tables this is one of the trickier more tricky challenges first seasons in the premier league i think as proven by real life but yeah so any tips you've got if you're a palace fan or you just used them in the game let us know in the comments help each other out that'd be fantastic and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye